Today, we will explore the Walden RTA Embrace Space Brushless Endo Motor with Inbuilt Apex Locator by Woodpecker. The box comes with a user manual, charging base, contra-angle handpiece, touch probe, lip hook, measuring wire, silicon covers, power adapter, file slip, disposable insulation sleeves and accessories like o-rings. And finally, we have RTA Endospace Brushless Endomotor Handpiece. How to assemble the endomotor? Align the locating pins on the contra-angle handpiece with the positioning slot on the motor handpiece. Once the pins are inserted into the slot, a click sound appears. Press the push button to insert the file into the handpiece. Once the file is lined with the interior latch, release the push button to lock the file in the contra-angle. Endo Space is an endomotor with inbuilt apex locator and can be used in three different ways. You just need to attach the contra-angle to motor handpiece and insert the file. To use as normal endomotor and perform BMP, next it can be used as a standalone apex locator. For this, you need to connect the measuring wire to the motor handpiece, connect the lip hook to the white socket of the measuring wire and attach the file clip to the black socket and attach your hand file to the file clip. To check the connection, touch the lip hook with the hand file. If canal measurement interface appears, it indicates connection is established. Thirdly, it can be used as a combination of apex location functionality while performing BMP. For this, you need to connect the measuring wire to the motor handpiece by C-type socket. Lip hook is attached to the white socket which further connects to the patient's lip and the black socket is kept idle. To check the connection, touch the lip hook with the file in the contrast angle to ensure that canal measurement interface appears on the screen which indicates that connection is established. You can keep your endomotor in the base unit provided for safe placement. Talking about the features of the endomotor, adjustable speed ranging from 100 rpm to 1800 rpm, adjustable torque from 0.4 newton centimeter to 5.0 newton centimeter, LED display showing programs, modes, battery, speed and torque. The endomotor operates at low noise levels due to its brushless technology. The contra-angle can be rotated freely in 360 degrees. Endomotor is made ergonomic and lightweight to reduce operator fatigue in extended use. Now we will see how to use the endomotor. Press the power button to turn on the endomotor. The display shows endo space and then the motor enters in the standby interface. Again press the power button and the endomotor enters into working interface and torque bar appears. Press the power button again and the motor enters into standby interface again. To turn off the endomotor, hold the setting button P and then simultaneously press the power button. The endomotor also automatically shuts down after 3 minutes in a standby interface. Let's see how can we customize the endomotor system settings. While the motor handpiece is off, hold the setting key and then press the power button. The current software version will appear on the display screen. The auto power off can be set from 3 to 30 minutes using plus minus adjustment keys. Press the setting key to select auto standby screen. The auto screen can be selected from 3 seconds to 30 seconds. Next, you can select the dominant hand as right or left. Again, press the setting key to enter calibration settings. The motor handpiece needs to be calibrated with your contra-angle handpiece. Next comes the beeper volume. You can select the level of beep from volume 0 to volume 3. Next comes the major operation modes. The endomotor operates at two major operation modes, simple mode and advanced mode. The advanced mode is the default setting of the endomotor. The simple mode has six different memory programs M0 to M5. The advanced mode has 10 different memory programs and 5 preset programs. 
Next up we have Apex switch which can be enabled or disabled. When enabled, working length measurement can be done. Lastly, we have the store defaults. It can be enabled or disabled when turned on. All the settings go back to the default mode. For now, let's select the endometer in advanced mode. As already mentioned, we have 10 different memory programs and 5 preset programs in this mode. To choose your preferred program, you can use the plus minus adjustment keys in a standby interface. Suppose I want to choose M0. So after reaching M0, you need to press the setting button. The display shows modes. With the use of plus minus adjustment keys, we can see the different modes available clockwise, counterclockwise, reciprocating, adaptive torque reverse, and electronic apex locator mode. After reaching the mode, you want to select short press the power key. For example, I have kept the mode clockwise now. In a similar manner, you can also adjust the speed speed and torque using the plus minus adjustment keys. For now, I have kept the speed at 100 rpm and torque at 5.0 Newton centimeter. Next we have a Pi collection. It has three options of stop and reverse. Press the setting key to select auto start. You can either turn it off or on. Press the setting button to set the flash bar option. It is the reference point where apical actions like apical slowdown are triggered. Lastly, we have apical slowdown. You can turn it off or on. Let's move to the preset programs now. We have five different preset programs as per different file systems. After selecting a particular preset program, long press the setting key to enter the multiple file options which are available. Again, long press the setting key to select the different file number. You can also adjust the torque, speed and other parameters as we did in the memory programs. Now let's take a look at the simple operation mode. In this mode, we have 6 different memory programs. Each memory program can be customized in a similar way as we did in the advanced mode. Please note the change in display screen of the simple mode as compared to the advanced mode. So that's all about this endomotor. If you want a more detailed video about how to use this endomotor, please comment down below.